How's it going? It's 220 Prepper, and I got a video today. So, um, what I have is an unboxing. I was going to do a tabletop review, but my table is currently occupied with a bunch of other stuff. So, what I have in here is a Feachi, I think that's how you pronounce it, a red dot sight with a one inch riser mount. And a second Feachi. This is actually a light uh, to go onto my rifle. So I was looking up budget stuff, budget lights, budget optics, because not everybody has a whole lot of money. Sometimes you just want, you know, training stuff, or if you built, like, you know, that. I built my rifle for, you know, $450, but you, why well, have a $450 rifle and an optic that costs more than the rifle? But, you know, this is just stuff for people who can't afford a whole lot, want to get acclimated to it, adjusted, training, range time, all stuff like that. So, let's take a look at it. If I get the box open. Uh, WL18 flashlight. Oh, crap. My bad. I got the one. I got the 18650 light, not the AA battery light. So, that's why this light is so damn big. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, looks like a Ranger Band. Over here, we've got the pressure switch and attachment port. USB, ah, it comes with a battery charger. And, hey, look over here. Come on. It's in there. So it comes with two rechargeable 18650 batteries. I like that it comes with two, because uh, those do get a little pricey. And the thing we're all here for is this light. So it doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't have the batteries in it. So I have to put the batteries in. I mean, so I got that. I'll hold on to it for now. So I got this setup right here for $35. Yeah, it was $35. So I'm going to be honest. I'm not like expecting a whole lot out of this that is a nice clicky button so that's good i'm not entirely expecting a whole lot out of this to be honest with you but i am expecting it to work i'm not expecting it to me to be able to just sit here and just you know brutalize this thing and call it a day but i think you know as far as if i'm like training with it going to the range and stuff like that then this should do the job. Now, this is not my forever light on here. I actually have a uh, stream light. That is my forever light. Okay, so it's plenty, yeah, there's plenty of space with this cord. Yeah, I'll be able to, yeah. I was a little, I was a little concerned about how much space I was going to have, but I think I might actually have too much. But, what do you know? So, one good thing about this is this button here. The uh, pressure switch, you can take it off, put on the regular one, and use it like a regular flashlight. So that is good. Uh, like I said, this is a big light, though. This is a very big light. I, once I get some, at least some drills, maybe not necessarily some, like, training, but at least some drills, I'll do a video with making sure how bright it is and all of that. Because I probably have to charge those batteries. But let's move on to the optic, which also was like $35, $40. But this looks like this on the inside. So we've got, oh, this is the uh, one inch riser mount. Before the light itself, which I'll actually take out in a second. 
Oh, hey, look at that. It comes with a battery. I like that. I honestly was not expecting it. Although, same company. I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, let's see here. This is a mounting and operation instructions booklet. Always good to have one of those. Comes with a screwdriver. Little flathead. And little cloth wipe. Nice. That's a bit better than what I was expecting. But again, that company included two batteries so and a charger. So I guess I shouldn't be all that surprised. All right. So let's take a look at what we got. Silica pack. So here we have the red dot itself. So it looks comparable to like mm, maybe a Sig Romeo. Yes, nothing through it right now. Adjusting here. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. I guess this is for the brightness, wind, and elevation. So this one, unlike the light, which is here, you will actually have to physically screw that in. Or with the actual tool, I should say. Whereas this here, you can hand screw that. So, I mean, I, that's that's not bad. I don't mind that. This is supremely light. I mean, this is light, but it's also big. But this is supremely light. And again, this seems to be the size of a uh, Sig Romeo. It's not bad. And, of course, take a look at the riser mount real quick. Just so you can all see what it all looks like. Aha, didn't drop it. Uh have to screw that in with a tool I mean it's nothing really to say about it you know Picatinny to attach here at the top for those of you who don't know but yeah so all in all the light which is here optic which is here cost me about 70 75 dollars I'm going to put some reps with this training drills all of that. I'm not sure I'll be able to get to the range. I'm having a whole lot of complications right now. But, you know, reps and drills, and I'll be able to give you at least a brief look of, you know, what the optic is like, brightness settings, how bright the light is, multiple uh, modes and all of that, with how much it affects, like, the handling of the rifle with the sling and all of that on it. But for right now, looks-wise, what you get, you know, as far as inside the box is, it was $35 well spent. Now, I can't attest to the quality yet because I haven't done it yet. But as far as what you get, two batteries and a recharger, and the fact that you can use that flashlight as a regular handheld or mounted onto your weapon with either a pressure switch or just, you know, a thumb activation, I like. I like the fact that they've given me those options and I'm not stuck on one factor. As far as the light, as far as the optic is concerned, I like the fact that a riser mount was included. I actually really do like that. And I like the fact that it came with an extra battery. So, I'll let you know how well it works on my rifle soon enough. But in the meantime, this is 220 Prepper and I am signing off.